years later, she took something else that she shouldn't have taken. And the firefighters and the EMTs, they saved her life and took her to the hospital where she lay in a coma before eventually waking up. And I want you to know that for us, we did get a second chance. And so if you're ever worried that you're not making a difference, listen to this from the sad and tearful 12-year-old to a 40-year-old who's now asking to be your vice president, you do make a difference. You make a difference every single day, and I thank you for it. Now, you not, might not always see it, and you might not hear it, and I know that a lot of the people that you're out there fighting for and saving, sometimes they don't say thank you. But my mom, as much as she struggled with addiction for a big chunk of my early life, when you saved her life, when you gave her a second chance, she got clean and she's been clean and sober for now almost 10 years. And God bless her and God bless all of you for fighting for her. So believe it from me, believe it from a kid who's seen it with his very own eyes, you are making a difference. You are saving lives, and you are giving people an opportunity at a second chance, even if you don't see them take that opportunity every single time. God bless you guys. I love you for it, and I'm so grateful for it. We wouldn't have the second chance with my mom without probably some of the people that are sitting in this room. Now, while overwhelming America's firefighters and EMTs, Kamala Harris's open border, border policy, it's also depleting our budgets. New York City, Mayor Eric Adams, not a fan of mine or President Trump, said that illegal immigration will destroy New York City due to the huge financial strain, which is about $12 billion over the next three years, and that's just in New York City. The mayor announced sweeping budget cuts that would slash $300 million from the fire department and cut the number of police officers to the lowest level since the 1990s. And it's the same story all over the United States of America. Illegal immigration cost Chicago taxpayers $361 million last year. Denver is shelling out $180 million. Washington, D.C. is paying $36 million. If we don't secure our border soon, my friends, our cities are going to have to cut vital police, fire, and emergency medical services to the bone. And it's you, you who's going to suffer, and it's the people you serve who are going to suffer. We shouldn't be forced to spend billions of dollars on people who aren't even supposed to be here. We should be spending that money on schools, police and fire departments, and our citizens. And under President Donald J. Trump's leadership, we will. Now here's another promise, not just a promise based on some plan that's written on a website, but based on the real record. When Donald Trump is president, we won't sit on our hands while rioters and arsonists burn down American cities like they did to Minneapolis in 2020. Now I'd ask you to remember the scene back in the summer of 2020, state troopers in full riot gear protecting the firefighters of Minneapolis from the rabid mob that was torching down that city. And we have to ask, why were they doing it? And part of the reason they were doing it is because people like Tim Walls invited those rioters into Minneapolis, and it was people like Donald Trump who were trying to send in the National Guard to protect them, to protect you.